everyone, this is Arnold with 8567. We're back with another episode of Resident Evil 2. It's the final episode of the final path. The eighth run. The marathon's ending. Here's the last file we need. The research diary. And now it's time to take the serum that Claire left us. Huh. That was easy. You can tell because the right All here, right. it's still here. Jerry's pendant. Claire was here first. And we're going to get in trouble. So yeah, we've officially hit end game. Oh, hello. this thing William. Why? It shouldn't have been like this. It's Umbrella's fault this whole mess. Your Umbrella too. You're telling me you weren't involved in this. Yes. But we never meant for this to happen. Then tell me everything. Right from the start. So you made this monster. We made the G-Virus, but we never intended this. Spin it any way you want. You're still responsible. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's your boss fight. I'm trying to hit the ice that I can with the shotgun, and I'm taking hits. I forgot to shield. It's okay. I'm not mad. You see, I got a good setup. I didn't want to do both, but oops. Oh well, I'll get through it. I'll get through it. I should have also brought extra heal. Ow! It's okay. It's okay. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Oh, come on, give me a chance to get your back eye. Uh, I'm already out of heels. That's not good. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Well, that didn't work. I didn't hit the eye enough and hard enough. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. This fight is a little chaotic, but it's fine. If I can at least get some damage in and slow him down a little bit, I'll get the first aid. If not, I'll just die and restart. Because I halved this one. And by halved, I mean half assed. Come on! I got enough ammo. I'm okay. Swing! Come on! Plant yourself for a minute. Alright. Second chance. The next one won't miss. Just 
sneak in with a knife and do some damage. Don't hit the big guys in the front, just keep stabbing. This is doing some damage and it's not letting him up fast. Plus I can now put some good damage. The knife is actually pretty good in this game when they're stunned, surprisingly. All right, it's worth grabbing this now. It's worth it, it's L'Oreal. All right, okay. Come on, ham sandwich. Hello. Ow. Okay, I'll admit, I was a little too close. Pop the eye, come on, pop the eye. Got him. Get the eyes and you get, and you get a little closer. Nope. Sit down. Oh, you like that one. Let me get that big eye. Let me get the big eye. Let me get the big eye. The ow. You know, I give you credit. You know when to cover your weaknesses. You also know when to be annoying. Turn around. Uh-oh. This is gonna hurt. Okay. That <laughs> missed. I'll take a miss. Especially a Swiss miss. I could go for some hot cocoa. No, 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 no. 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 Okay, come on, open the eye at me. Ow! Can't take any more of those. Got it! That should anger him. Yep, it's angered. When he starts to run over, run over to the right here and start flumbing. Make sure you keep cooking him. Don't stop cooking him now. Just keep cooking, just keep cooking. Grill him nice and tight, nice and, well, you know. Make sure he's a, the, the consistency of charcoal. And he didn't even break my favorite pair of sunglasses. So easy. So dead. Ah, didn't that feel good? Loser. Loser. Ah. Oh good, more. So I don't really need the flamethrower anymore. Remember when I said we were well enough to carry through the rest of the game? That we weren't worried about ammo? I'm still not worried. We're fine. Completely fine. I don't need to rely on my handgun for the final boss. But I can use it if I need to. Because Leon does get a little bit of a reprieve. The final boss has a mechanic I'll explain a little bit more when we get to it. That I didn't know happened before. During my blind runs. By the way. All raided. Tell me he'll destroy that G sample. No, it's evidence. It's going to the FBI. <laughs> you trust that bitch? What's that supposed to mean? She's not the FBI. She's a mercenary. She's gonna sell it. The G virus is gonna go to the highest bidder. Shut the fuck up. Bullshit.
Hard thoughts, harder decisions. But yeah, that was not my best, not my worst. It was okay. And yeah, someone set out to self-destruct the sequence. This time it wasn't Ada's body. But, well, it's time to take what we need. Again, do not... Well, actually, we're not going to fully go over what we need. Let's get heal up. There we go. We can do the rest of the stuff later. There is stuff we do need. But I'll take a herb on. Well, actually, I'll take two herbs. Is there, nah, just one, actually. I'll go with one. I'm, like, thinking, do I want to take two? Do I want to take one? Do I want to take them all? Do I want to take none? I'll take... I know I'm being indecisive, okay? I'm thinking! I don't need the shotgun anymore. What I do need... is nothing, I think. I think we're good. I know we need the flamethrower, because there's stuff coming up that can that's weak to it. Yeah, I think we're good. And here we go. To the finals. I was just thinking about you. That makes two of us. I was getting worried. You know, we make a good team. I gotta ask you something. Way's clear. Please, tell me you got it. Oh, I got it. Can we verify the G sample? We get the hell out of here. Before we do that, I ran into Annette. She claims you're not FBI. Why couldn't you just hand over the sample? As I realized, as much as I wanted to trust you, I didn't. I really hoped it wouldn't end up like this. So that's all this was? I was just some pawn to you? Look, I'm just doing my job. And I'm doing mine, so drop that damn gun! I'm taking you in. Hand over the sample, Leon. I don't want to hurt you. shoot me. But I don't think you can. Take care of yourself, Leon. No! Relax, Leon. I'm sure you'll see her again. You only got 10 minutes to get out of here. Worry more about your survival than the whole I gotta get out of here. Please. We only got 10 minutes. And it's gonna be the fastest 10 minutes of your life. As the flaming core is in the background. Ah. 
So I hope we've made a lot of memories over this whole project. Because this was a trip. This is it. Well, the final battles. Ah, it feels good. Honestly, I thought we would have beaten one bit here. I thought one bit would be way more behind than it is. But no. They're actually right near each other. Minutes until detonation. place is coming down. Listen to me. You need to get out. Fast. Yeah. There's a way out. We can make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Leon? Hey, Leon, you're breaking up. Forget about me. Just get out of here. Damn it. Well, there goes Claire to save the day again. I'm going to grab the knife because knives are always useful. I'm going to save the game here. You don't have to, but there is something I want to do. You see, now would be the best time for me to show you a weapon profile. That's right, we're showing off the rocket launcher now. Why not? Because this episode actually is perfect for it. How good is the rocket launcher, you ask? The infinite uh, ATM-4? Watch this, you see these IVs I've been dealing with? Insta-torch. It can actually torch a IV. You can go through and just smack them around. They don't even have a chance. You can just go and blast three of them and they're gone. You're through. Yes, this is going to be a weapon profile, just show this off, because this is just too good. How good is it? How good is it, you say? Well, watch this. This next contestant that's coming in right now is going to get a face full of rocket. Here's Tyrant. Here's a missile. Sit down. Put some right on his knees. Now says, I love you like a missile to the face. And there's a zombie there. I could blow him up too. I could if I wanted to. He goes down in one. But that's not the reason why I'm showing this off. You see, here's the thing about the missile. See our friend? All it takes is one direct shot on normal or beginner. On hardcore, it takes two. But he's dead. He dies like the actual rocket launcher in the other mode. Like if you use regular rocket launcher, it acts just like that, making the final boss nothing for Leon. Leon can just do this, snap these guys and go right to the boss. That's the end of this weapon profile. Back to the main. That felt like an out of body experience. Now let's do this properly, shall we? You can officially box the ID wristband now. You know they'll still appear in the final scene. Really, it doesn't matter. We're gonna come down here. I got the flamethrower with me. I'm gonna show you where everything is, hopefully. I always skip. Flambe, I'll just hold the button down. Yep, blue herb that I never grab. That I've forgotten every time because these guys get me in a rush. Toast, nope, off. Doesn't matter now, I don't need the knives. You know, I really thought I was going to use the infinite combat knife a lot more than I did. Here's a green herb to mix the blue herb. I actually did think that. We're now coming down this ladder. In this room, there's some ammo. Right here. And then, here he comes to mess the day. I'm just going to use some flamethrower. I don't really need to. I'm gonna torch a trenchy. 
I don't think he liked that very much. Oh, he really didn't like that very much. He's right behind me. Run, 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 run. In, 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 in. And don't mess around now, Leon. And now, the final area. Mix you. That back. Actually, I do need that. Lightning Hawk. You know what? Don't need that anymore. Need the flash grenades. You definitely need your grenades. Any grenade you banked is precious to this boss fight. So, every single grenade you have left should probably come out. I'll take the shotgun in case I need it. Trust me, leave nothing in your box that you do not need, that you need. I'm going to take the M19. I do kind of need it. I'm taking the flash grenades here. I got three regulars. I got the large caliber here. I am not bringing, I am bringing all my herbs. This is the fight that needs it. Oh wait, no I'm not. Don't need the flamethrower. I need that though. Flamethrower's worthless anyway now, so we can bank that. This is how you want to look. All right, it's tyrant time. The tyrant is actually a little interesting for a boss mechanic. You see, you can dodge him by going to his bad arm, and when he tries to hit you, you run by him. Very easy. You can sit there and dodge for three minutes. Why do I say three minutes? It's not an arbitrary number. It's actually a very important number. Ow, thank you for hitting me. Right now, there's a background timer running for three minutes. After three minutes, an event's gonna happen. But, that's not all. You see, every time I hit him, I'm accelerating that timer a little bit. You can tell because stuff just dropped. So, I'm trying to advance the timer to get to that event faster. It's also doing a certain amount of damage to the trenchy that will matter, and I'll explain why at the second part. Well, actually, I can explain now. You see, not only am I trying to dodge and hit him, I mean, I could just avoid him for three minutes like I did my hardcore run. Play ring around the trenchy. But, the missiles that matter, the more damage you do to him, the easier the last part of the game is. So I'm trying to do some damage, trying to get some hit at ow in. You can tell how far you're in the battle by how much damage is going on. At a certain point, you're gonna know when you're close. You see, I'm just switching my ammo. Trying to do some more. When you see him do that, throw! You gotta blark break him. Flash grenades work best. You can use a regular, you can also use the rocks here, but if he hits you, it's the death, and he homes in. Okay. 
Okay, grab this quickly and hit him. If you've done enough damage, it takes one. If you had it, it takes up to three on hardcore. If you miss with all your rockets, he insta-kills you. He will use his insta-kill ability and he won't miss no matter what you do. It's an instant game over. Do not use your rocket here, use a grenade because you're on V run. Trust me, do not use a rocket there. Let's throw a grenade, that's all. And run to the train. Did I miss anything? I want to say I didn't. Oh, I did. Must have been I am up here, oh well. Not that important. Top of board train! Actually miss her. Leon, we made it. Just like I said we would. Who's this? This is Sherry. Okay. Jesus. What was that? I don't know. I'll go. You take care of Sherry. And now, the actual final boss! That's right, the actual final. As in the final final. As in the B-Run grand finale ending. As in pick up all this stuff because this is your last kids get ammo they give you a full stack of handgun i don't really need it but you might i got three rockets i got other stuff i am good what i need for this one is whatever i have left i don't really need a flamethrower it's not going to do much damage it's not going to be able to reach really so i'll skip on the flamethrower this is fine this is way more than five i could bring the matilda with me in fact i might this is our last hurrah with everything. We don't need much. We're good. Yeah, that's all I'm bringing. I don't need anything else. I'm not even going to use half of it. Re okay, can't reload that, so I'll throw that in. No, I don't really need the grenades anymore. Those can stay. I mean, I'm just delaying for the final inevitable fate of this thing, so don't worry too much. I'm just doing it for the fun now. Like, I just play a little bit of box Tetris. Oh, I don't have my gun equipped to a shortcut. Let's put that on a shortcut. Reload everything. I mean, I got way more than enough ammo to take out half the population of Raccoon City now. And now we walk forward. And now we back up. Meet the final, final boss of Resident Evil 2. I was gonna start popping him with uh, Matilda. I'm just doing this for the lols. Now, wait for his eye to open and feed him some missiles. Come on. Missile one. Missile two. 
Open up and say, ah! Are you guys, like, boyfriend and girlfriend? No. We're just... Uh, well, we actually just met... last night. <laughs> yeah. That would have been one hell of a first date, though. Yeah, you have no idea. Look! He might be able to give us a ride. What if it's not just the city? Get Cherry out of here. So, is it over? I don't know. But if it's not, we'll stop it. Whatever it takes. Yeah, you're damn right we will. As long as we stick together, we'll be fine. Come on. Hey, you guys can adopt me. <laughs> adopt uh. you? <laughs> we can get a puppy. A uh, puppy? And a parrot. Parrot? Sure. I always want a pet, but my mom's allergic to mess. Uh. Next up on this boring Wednesday is a song to get your blood pumping. And that's the end of the run! That's the eighth run complete. The marathon's over. We've gone through Resident Evil 2 and with both the uh, routes, Claire A. Leon B and Leon B I mean Leon A. Claire B. We've officially done it. We've officially checked the remake versus the original. Which there were some differences in each, but not that many. But you gotta admit, the second the PS1 had a lot more changes that kind of make a reason why Claire A. Leon B is the canon route. But that's it. It was a long road. We're finally there. Oh my goodness, that was a run. I'm glad to finally put this part of the project to bed. Unfortunately, the city never sleeps. We got the four survivor, which I haven't unlocked still. I'm still trying to unlock that. I haven't unlocked the minigun on this version yet, so don't expect me to do much. But I did a weapon profile for every weapon because I wanted to at least show them off and how to get them. Because, well, you know why. I mean, you gotta admit, being able to one-shot the time right at the start of the fight is pretty fucking funny. And I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Just point, boom, game over. Uh, but yeah, we've officially done it. Started way back in October. Ended in February. I didn't expect it to be this long. Can I play something else now? I don't want to play Four Survivor yet. I don't want to do the EX Battle yet. And there's still the, the ghost stories on this one. There's still more to show. This game is never ending. 
It's its own existential horror that's never over because it's never over. But there's even a tofu variant to talk about. But yeah, we've done it. I will say I love the remake more than I do the original. The original, I have to get myself in the mood because the opening is just so... It drained me when I was younger and it started playing. This one, I played through it and I wanted to play it again and again and again. And now look, I finally played enough of it for four straight months that I'm probably RE'd out now. I still got to work on three. Oh my word, I am going to have a lot of fun with that. Uh... Either way, I hope you guys really enjoyed this project as I did making it. Yeah, RE2 Remake, I wish I had a better computer, but... I wish I had PS4, it would be a little better, but you know what? At least I could play it for you guys. That's the important thing, is I got to play the game for ya. Oh. Nice to see Birkin's eye right before it explodes, right? <sighs> so, tomorrow, I got things to talk about, because I kind of mentioned it. I got the... We're going to take a quick look at the Ghost Survivors. Or whatever it is. The extra... I'll bring it up after I'm done. And I'll talk a little bit about Four Survivor and Tofu Survivor. But we're not going to make that the main focus. It's just a look at. There's stuff to come still. I mean, this game's never over until it's over. And then I'm going to finish up One Bit Heart. I got to finish up this week. And after that, we'll move on to something else. How's that sound? <clears throat> I mean, I got options. New options. There's a new Mario game coming. I got a new series completely to look at that I haven't played on this channel before. It's been out for a while. It's a remake. I mean, I could do. I gotta finish Journeyman. It's like a whole lot of stuff to do. Heck. You know what? I still got Millennium 4 to work on. There's so much left to do. There's so much to do in so little time, but we can do it. Hey, 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 hey. I hate to disturb you, but you're going to ramble on. Um, I just found this out, so I'm going to pop this in. Braden Smith has passed away in Las Vegas, Nevada. He was 24. He was Alex's last great champion who officially joined Alex Trebek. Oh boy. Yeah. That's a something. It's sad, but... Hmm. He's gone too soon. But yeah. I do have a few things I can work on. But we'll work on that later. I mean, there is stuff like I said I am planning. I mean... I am getting a lot more stock in library and there's still stuff that I could play, including stuff that's on the Nintendo Switch and also the Classic, so we got options. So yeah, I'm going to let the music play and then we'll talk about what's left. I bet there's achievements. Hey, 
And now we got a B rank. That's right, B rank for us. Not bad. I'll take a photo of that because I've been photographing all my first run results. Ah, feels good. Hmm. And we get Story Master because we've done all the story. Yay! That's right, all four paths. So, you can see we got a lot done. 79 of 87. I didn't get Hate the First Year Bolt, but that one you need to do probably on your own. You just got popped. I might do it on Assisted and get help with the hitting the bulbs there. But, you see, the achievements left, except for the one that I told you about, is all the extra stuff. So getting all the main game achievements except one, because it's one of those that even I couldn't do, that you didn't get lucky enough to be able to hit an ivy in all the spots only, that's pretty good. But you can see we got the four survivor, the tofu survivor, the ghost survivors. There's five different tofus to talk about. And by the way, I don't even have all the ghost survivors. There's one that needs to be unlocked. Yeah, the unlock key doesn't even include it. So yeah, that's everything. I'm getting the episode and series here. I hope you have fun, and I'll see you in my next project. See you then. Uh -huh.